LMD Magazine and EFM present BizTalk, taking an in-depth look at today's biz landscape. Welcome to another edition of LMD EFM BizTalk. Today we're speaking to the Group Director of Earl's Court Group, Emal Gunasekara. Good morning, Mr. Gunasekara, and thank you for joining us today. Good morning, and pleasure being here today. First of all, could you give us an overview of Earl's group of hotels and how the group has fared under the current macroeconomic conditions? I personally believe risk is a price we pay for an opportunity. Our business is all about providing experience for the customers or the tourists which will cherish lifelong. Each and every journeyer or each and every tourist have their own aspects or own angle which they look at. So we have to cater that segment, each and every segment. In order to cater the segment, we have five star hotels, four star hotels, three star hotels. We have an eight number of hotels down in the island. So there are five hotels in Kandy where we are strong at and moving out of Colombo, we have recently opened uh, Earth Reef in Beerwala. So this is a quick snap of Earthquare Group. When we are talking about the macroeconomic conditions which we have affected Earthquare Group at the moment, we can think about the currency depreciation, which we have affected in a positive way. Currency depreciation have affected uh, in a way that Sri Lanka have uh, renamed as a cheaper destination for the tourist, which is a good thing. Uh, there's a really a upcoming trend of the uh, tourist who is coming into the country, and uh, it's a really uh, good thing. But again, we have to uh, see what is the segment of the tourist who is traveling into Sri Lanka. And also we have to think about uh, uh, the number of uh, travelers who is following, uh, who's coming into Sri Lanka. For example, in 2016, uh, the tourist arrival was 2 million, uh, 2 million and we are expecting it to be 4 million in 2020. When we look at these positive things, we have to, on the other hand, we have to think about how we're going to cater into this market. Uh, for example, infrastructure. Uh, there are 10 number, I think more than 10 uh, five-star hotels in just in Pasigura itself. But it takes more than 8 to 10 hours just to travel to Pasigura. How can you cope up with that with the infrastructure? And for example, if you want to take a approvals or a license for a new hotel, it's a very uh, system. Uh, it's a very hard process to take license in Sri Lanka uh, with the uh, current uh, macroeconomic conditions. So, if there's a certain uh, proper process or a proper licensing system or proper approval system, which will be easy for a new entrants or new uh, comers to the tourism sector. What are the latest ventures the group has embarked on? Moving apart from the hotel industry, we are moved to the backbone of the hospitality or the hotels, which is food. We opened a new restaurant down in Dutch Hospital, which is a food hub or the food uh, center of the Sri Lanka Dutch Hospital. Uh, we opened a new restaurant called Black Pepper. That's a new venture or the latest venture of the Oscar Group, uh, which we are catering to the premium customers. And we are providing a unique dining experience with the four corners dishes from four corners of Sri Lanka. And the, another project that we have came up recently is uh, Earl's Reef Beerwala uh, in the Golden Mile of Sri Lanka, one of the finest beaches in uh, Sri Lanka, uh, providing a unique, another unique experience when you come to the hospitality sector. In terms of products, what does Sri Lanka offer to tourists? Sri Lanka is a unique a destination which we are uh, tourists can uh, go to like if you take Sri Lanka as a destination Sri Lanka can take two different uh, climates or two different uh, weather in uh, within few different hours if you travel to New Orleans and if you travel to Pasigura or somewhere it's two different climates and if you take uh, another country as example for example Singapore just the business and uh, shopping and if you take Bangkok it's just entertainment and shopping so on so, but Sri Lanka, we offer history, heritage, culture, uh, beach, sun, and uh, another climates, and so on. So, we are offering a variety of uh, things when it comes to Sri Lanka. What are the biggest challenges Sri Lankan tourism faces? 
The biggest challenges of course Sri Lanka prevails at this time is human resource management or human resources. There's no uh, proper training schools or proper uh, demand for the this industry as uh, such for the medicine or engineering or whatever. Nobody like to be a hotelier but they would like to be a doctor. So there's a uh, less demand for this segment but this is a very upcoming uh, or very uh, increasing at a very uh, high rate uh, this industry but uh, there are less people moving towards uh, hospitality sector and also uh, when we think about the uh, now the criteria of the tourists who arrived into Sri Lanka is uh, we call uh, budget travelers so we have to promote Sri Lanka as a destination to the high end uh, travelers or high end uh, high spending travelers who will spend more and generate more income just rather than just uh, thinking or concern about the quantity we have to think more about the quality that we gonna offer what is your strategy in encouraging innovation in this industry the strategies that we have come up with something like CSR projects like uh, corporate social responsibility projects like we train uh, and we recruit uh, local and do domestic staff, like for example, down in Candy. We recruit all Candian uh, or people who are located in Candy area, so that uh, we will provide jobs to local or domestic people. Which and we show the demand for this uh, industry, and we will uh, uh, attract them. Uh, and uh, to also to the thinking about the well-being of the area or the thinking about the uh, well-being of the society of that particular domestic area uh, and also we are moving towards eco-friendly building concept where we are sustained by the solar power and the uh, rainwater uh, rainwater so which, which will think about the uh, global emission global uh, with the emission uh, which is happening at the moment which is a really big concerning problem in the world uh, so Thinking about that was a green greener concept. It's a very very uh, good strategy that every businessman have to come up with. Thank you for joining us today, Mr. Gunasekara. Thank you. Tune in every Tuesday and Thursday for more insights from our business community. You can also log on to efm.lk and lmd.lk/lmdtv for a visual experience of this time.